His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. It is not in but deliver us from Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, sinner. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, us now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, blessed Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Amen. The first joyful mystery, the Annunciation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Hail Mary, grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, trust in now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, blessed is Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. the hour. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, a sinner, now and at the hour. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, blessed is Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now and ever shall be. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. And lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The second joyful mystery, the visitation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, for it is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst us. Blessed is thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst us. Blessed is the fruit of
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, Prince, Lord is with you. Blessed are thou most. Blessed is the fruit. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, for this Blessed art thou most sweet Mary. Blessed is the fruit. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with you. Blessed art thou most sweet Blessed is the fruit. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, Prince, Lord is with you. Blessed art thou. Blessed is thou. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, Prince, Lord is with you. Blessed art thou most sweet Mary. Blessed is thou. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, for this Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is thou. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, grace, Lord is with you. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, for this be thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, blessed is thy Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The third joyful mystery, the birth of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. not the temptation, deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst men, and blessed is thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Now and Hail Mary, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour. Hail Mary, full of the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, trust. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, us now and at the hour. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now and ever shall be. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The Fourth Joyful Mystery The Presentation of Jesus in the Temple Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, Prince, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou. Blessed is thee. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst us. Amen. Blessed is Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among Blessed. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou. Blessed is Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is sweet. Blessed art thou amongst Blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is sweet. Blessed art thou amongst Blessed is Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, Prince, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is thee. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, Prince, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven especially those in most need of thy mercy. The Fifth Joyful Mystery Finding of the Child Jesus Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our 
we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into the deliver us from Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Hail Mary, grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. How in the Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among the womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, see. now and at the hour. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, sinners. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, a sinner, now and at the hour. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Now and at the Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now and ever shall be. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by whose life, death, and resurrection has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech Thee that by meditating upon the mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us. Amen. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon us and remain with us always. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth, for we, we beseech thee, thee o, Lord, o Lord, thy grace into our, our hearts. hearts that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, will be forever and ever. Amen. Today is the third Sunday in Ordinary Time. It is also National Bible Sunday. Our Mass Presider is Reverend Father Sandy Pulidindi Pime.
Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we come together to celebrate the Holy Eucharist as God's family, let us realize the many times and ways in which we have disappointed the Lord in our behavior. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us all sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Pray. Almighty, our living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure, that in the name of your beloved Son, we may abound in good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.
A reading from the book of the prophet Jonah. The word of the Lord came to Jonah, saying, Set out for the great city of Nineveh, and announce to it the message that I will tell you. So Jonah made ready and went to Nineveh, according to the Lord's binding. Now Nineveh was an enormously large city. It took three days to go through it. Jonah began his journey through the city and had gone but a single day's walk announcing, Forty days more, and Nineveh shall be destroyed. When the people of Nineveh believed God, they proclaimed a fast, and all of them, great and small, put on sackcloth. When God saw by their actions how they turned from their evil way, he repented of the evil that he had threatened to do to them. He did not carry it out. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your path. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God, my Savior. Teach me your grace, O Lord. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your love are from of old. In your kindness, remember me. Because of your goodness, O Lord. Teach me your grace, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice and teaches the humble his way. Teach me A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I tell you, brothers and sisters, the time is running out. From now on, let those having wives act as not having them, those weeping as not weeping, those rejoicing as not rejoicing, those buying as not owning, those using the world as not using it fully. For the world in its present form is passing away. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all rise. Be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. After John had been arrested, 
Jesus came to Galilee, proclaimed the gospel of God. This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. As he passed by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting their nets into the sea. They were fishermen. Jesus said to them, Come after me. I will make you fishers of men. Then they abandoned their nets and followed him. He walked along a, lo a little further and saw James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They too were in a boat, mending their nets. Then he called them. They left their father Zebedee in the boat, along with the hired men, and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It was in 2012 when, when the PME newly ordained young priests like me uh, were invited to Bangkok when we had a formation for a week or so uh, in the month of October 2012. We gathered together, of course, a week of formation. After that, we went to visit some of our missions in uh, Thailand. And one of the beautiful things that we found was that there was a young couple. Uh, they are Italians, and they had three kids. One was really, you know, Sangolpa. Uh, then one is maybe seven years and five years. The other one is only just months. Both young couples were there. And we asked them, were they... Were they just the visitors visiting uh, different parts of Thailand? But they said, no, we are missionaries. We are here for mission. Married people uh, going to Thailand, leaving their home country, Italy, going to Thailand for missions. Later, when I inquired, they belonged to the movement neo catechumenians because I, I hope you know the, the movement also, apart from their formation and their uh, you know, spirituality, or they, they also have the practice of sending lay missionaries to other nations to proclaim. So I said this because you saw even in the first reading, second reading, and third uh, gospel, the one prominent theme is call a call to mission. Because you can see, after, the, uh, after John the Baptist finished his ministry, Jesus starts his public ministry. And as he starts his public ministry from this week onwards, you will see Jesus doing different activities, preaching and healing and chasing away the evil spirits and all, all those things uh, you can see happening now. But one particular thing that he doesn't, he just not only does this mission, but he invites some people, he calls some of the people to be his partners in mission. Okay. First one, I want to focus today, the three dimensions that I want to say, that the first one is the call itself. You saw, uh, do you know the, what kind of people does, does Jesus call or does, that God chooses to, to be his disciples? What kind of? Do you know just now in the first reading we heard about Nineveh? Do you know the history of Nineveh? Nineveh is right now in uh, present Iraq, if you know, Middle East Iraq. It is located in the present Iraq. Uh, then Nineveh was known in the past for, for his cruelty. Uh, if they say that people of Nineveh, people obviously, obviously they, they consider them the most cruel people that time when we are referring during the first, uh, first reading of the, uh, she read it. But Jonah was sent there to, to preach or to, God was concerned. Even he wants them to be his partners or become disciples in mission. So be it people of Nineveh that were very,
very cruel, not just bad, very cruel people. Uh, then in the gospel, you can see Jesus calls a batch of, one more batch of uh, disciples to be his apostles, men for, to be his apostles. And these are fishermen. They are not the, they are not the ones that are teaching, the synagogue, teaching in the synagogue. Uh, they are not the famous rabbis. And they are not, they are nothing. I mean, simple people. In other words to say, he's called to people, whether you are good or bad, the call is there. Whether you are professional or whether you are no professional, you are educated or not educated, the call is there. So everyone is qualified for his call. Okay. Secondly, when his call comes, we are sub there is no time. There is, we need to hurry up to accept his call. Why did I say? Especially uh, in the second reading when you see, uh, St. Paul speaks about this time is already running out. Uh, because you can see, uh, up to John the Baptist was a time of waiting. With the inauguration of kingdom of God, a proclamation of the kingdom of God with Jesus, the time is not anymore waiting. It is the time of fulfillment already. And the, our Christian time, couple of times I mentioned, it's not chronos, but kairos. Chronos is that it's cycl cyclical. The time, for example, this year, 2021, we are into. January, we are starting. February, March, April. Then again, 2022, we will be back to again January, February. So in other words, that time, that kind of time is cyclic, cy cyclical. It repeats. And, but the time of the, the kingdom of God, the fulfillment, time of fulfillment is lineal. Kairos. It just goes on. And when we don't catch, uh, when we don't accept that call within time, we will be behind. We will never be able to become authentic disciples of Jesus. Anyway, even in the first reading, the time when, when Nineveh, in Nineveh, when John, uh, Jonah proclaimed, it was, the time was given 40 days. Uh, so in other words, we, don't, we, we have this kairos is no cyclical. It doesn't repeat. Every day we lose in uh, every day we wait or we, we don't hurry up in accepting his call we are we are left behind thirdly about the mission before i sp speak about the proclamation of the mission of god let me tell you one thing did jesus call today his disciples are they did you can you see the gospel he chose them he is not letting them proclaim immediately. So, in other words, to say, they were with him. They were they were observing him doing the miracles. They were observing him doing the preaching. They were observing him, or they were accompanying him in the in the long walks, in the long discourses. So, every time they were with him. In other words, before mission, formation. So, you can see some of us priests also before we, we are being ordained. Uh, maybe average is, I think, 8 years to 15 years of formation. So, before mission, formation. And for normal people, formation is nothing but knowing our faith. Before we preach, do we really know our faith? So, dear fr uh, friends in Christ, uh, once again, I just want to conclude. All of us are receiving this call, be it you are good or bad, be it I am a good person or bad person, I am a professional or non-pro, I am intelligent or I am not so intelligent. Everyone is deserved to be called to his disciples. Second thing, accepting his, this invitation of call, there is no time because our concept of time is kairos but not chronos. Finally, uh, before we, we get into the mission, mode of mission formation, so let us know our faith fully and well. Please all rise. I believe in one God. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, 
of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of a world to come. Amen. As we recall the beginning of Jesus' apostolate, we keep in mind that he continues the proclamation of the kingdom through the people called to share more closely in his mission. Let us pray for them as we say, Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the universal church, who continues the mission of Christ through the centuries, may she do so in faithfulness and generosity. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For all those who involve in preaching the good news, may they exercise their ministry with selflessness and integrity of life. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For the recipients of the missionary activity of the church, may they readily accept the gospel and make it the rule of their lives. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For all Christian families, may their generous response to Jesus, invitation to a more radical discipleship, make them heralds of good news in their own environments. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For the individual believers to whom the Lord addresses the call to a special discipleship, may they respond generously like Simon, Andrew, James, and John, so as to bring Christ's love and salvation to all. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For the members of the various Christians' denominations, May the love they share for the Bible enable them to overcome all divisions and rebuild the unity for which Jesus prayed. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For all of us, as we celebrate National Bible Sunday, may we take it as a challenge to read the Word of God every day, listen to His message for us, and apply it in our lives. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For the special intention offered in this Mass, and for our own personal intention, let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the trust you showed in associating us to your mission. Grant us the grace to be heralds of your good news in words and deeds in our world saddened by the bad news of sin, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
Please all rise. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept our offerings, O Lord, we pray, and in sanctifying them, grant that, that they may profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and away to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so... With the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and the powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and unto willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered unto the one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jesse Mercado, Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in the mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced with eternal life. And my praise and glory for you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
the Savior's command from the divine teaching we did to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will. Holy One, reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other joyfully joyful sign of peace. With you, peace with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am, I am not, not worthy that, that you should, should enter under my, under my roof, but, but only say the Lord, word, and my soul, soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Please all rise. Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life, we may always glory in your gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. Magsiluhod po ang lahat para sa Horatio Imperata laban sa COVID-19. Makapangyarihan at mapagmahal na Ama, nagsusumamo kami sa iyo upang hilingin ang iyong patnubay laban sa COVID-19 na nagpapahirap sa marami at kumitil na ng mga buhay. Gabayan mo ang mga dalubhasang naatasan na tumuklas ng mga lunas at paraan upang ihinto ang paglaganap nito. Patnubayan mo ang mga lumilingap sa may sakit upang ang kanilang pagkalinga ay malakipan ng husay at malasaki. Itinataas namin ng mga nagdurusa. Makamtanawa nila ang mabuting kalusugan. Lingapin mo rin ang mga kumakalinga sa kanila. Pagkamitin mo ng kapayapaang walang hanggan ang mga pumanaw na. Pagkalooban mo kami ng biyaya na magtulong-tulong tungo sa ikabubuti ng lahat. Pukawin sa amin ang pagmamalasakit sa mga nangangailangan. Nagsusumamo kami sa, na iyong ihintuna ang paglaganap ng virus at ipagadya kami sa lahat ng mga takot. Hinihiling namin ito sa pamamagitan ni Heso Kristo na nabubuhay at nagaharing kasama mo at ng Espiritu Santo, iisang Diyos, magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Dumudulog kami sa iyong patnubay, mahal na ina ng Diyos. Pakinggan mo ang aming mga kahilingan sa aming pangangailangan at ipagadya mo kami sa lahat ng kasamaan, maluwalhati at pinagpalang birhen. Amen. Maria, mapagpagaling sa may sakit, ipanalangin mo kami. San Rafael Arcangel, ipanalangin mo kami. San Roque, ipanalangin mo kami. San Lorenzo Ruiz, ipanalangin mo kami. San Pedro Calunsod, ipanalangin mo kami. Please be seated for some announcements. All married couples in the church are invited to attend the renewal of marriage vows on February 13, Saturday, during the 6 p.m. Mass at the main church. Those who want to join are requested to register at the parish office before February 5, 2021. The 2020 MQAP Fiesta Raffle Draw will push through this year on May 22, 2021. For those who were given booklets individually by our Ministry of Ushers and Greeters, you can remit the payments and the raffle stubs to the parish office and you will be issued an acknowledgement receipt. Para po sa mga nasa loob ng simbahan, ang paglabas po natin ay per row. Dalawa po ang exit, left and right. Manatili muna po tayong nakaupo sandali habang lumalabas ang mga nasa malapit sa exit ways. Sundin po natin ang mga ushers na gagabay sa atin at palagi nating panatilihin ang physical distancing. Para naman po sa mga nasa labas ng simbahan, pinapakiusap po namin na sundin ang mga ushers sa tamang paglabas, panatilihin ang physical distancing at ang pagsusuot ng face mask. Please all rise. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the fathers, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God.